Y'all, decision day is quickly approaching and I am high. We gotta stop talking about these people online. Like, people in these comments are ruthless. I do need to see more from Keith because y'all do let me realize that, like, everyone's putting the blame on Iris. There's blame. But Keith isn't stepping up. He's not being romantic. He's not doing much. That's still still. I loved these cookies as a kid. Shout out to Gladys Bryant. Everybody's still putting the blame on Beth. Jamie's the one. Don't y'all feel like they need like a couple more? Like this is the first season where I feel like they needed a couple more weeks to decide. It's like too much still going on right now. Uh, we throwing axes with Beth? Okay, this is Deanna and Greg scene. Come through thick boyfriend. I love to see like big people with skinny people. Yo, you got past that shallow shit. Good for you. Deanna is so competitive. She gonna make Greg feel bad again. Greg. Oh, that's one of the things that I referenced in one of the comments because everybody was talking about how they're not matched and Keith needs another person. But like I said, both of them are into mentorship. Both of them are super playful. We got a glimpse of that in that exact scene when they were at the honeymoon and Keith was like grabbing her leg. They both value family. Keith needs someone who's super neat. So even though Iris is OCD, he needs a little bit of that structure. A lot of things that y'all are not paying attention to besides the fucking virginity thing. Son, every time I see Amber and they show her for more than like two seconds, I always wonder if Matt is there. <laughs> and he's not. <laughs> Who knew that they say y'all so much in North Carolina? Does he melt? Or is it just you? I didn't ask this question before. How often are you out? This bitch said every day. Watch the smirk from the friend. Like, there you go. Not wanting to be home by a decent hour. How often is he out with his friends? Like, every day. That laugh? Uh, I'm sorry. You deserve better. Word. Yes, friend. Amber is on some settling shit about Matt no more. It works that he's hot. Matt's is hot. But, like, she just wants someone to appreciate her. Even if they don't appreciate her. This episode is just about to be a bunch of repeat of what's been happening. So he took a page from Matt's book, huh? This is exactly what Dr. Pepper told y'all not to do. Y'all have done it, what, three times since then? When you've threatened? Drink, Jamie took the cat. This motherfucker hasn't been home in four days and y'all want to casually hug and sit down for ice cream? And then you have the nerve to say my four days has been good? Look at these toxic motherfuckers. Look at it. And Jamie, you are the worst. Feel how you enjoyed your four days? It's been really nice, yeah. Definitely. Motherfucker. Nice to, like, be like in a good positive space. And Jab. No complaining. Jab number two. Energy. Jab three. Four. Yeah. Five. Six. Here we go again with two things we've seen before. One, Jamie wanting her to beg for him to come back. Yeah, I've been out, but I'm not just going to come back for any reason. Two, him talking to her like a child. Let me tell you what happened. Let me tell you the lesson you're gonna learn. And let me tell you the lesson I'm gonna teach you with my actions. No, no, no. You can't just do that and expect people to do this. You can't act up, little girl. How's the marriage work with somebody who has no humility? Recall what the origins of this fight was. Jamie told this woman to shut up in public in front of the other couples. If you just said, she needs to take accountability for her actions. She has no humility. Remember her saying sorry last episode? You mean not saying shit? It goes Beth again apologizing. Did Jamie just say he wants to strip away sex to get down to the core? I swear I've heard that before. Jamie's one of those motherfuckers when you're sitting around a table at uh, doing a group project or at work, you say some shit, it doesn't get all the glitz and glamour, and then they just repeat it five minutes later, and everybody signs on board like, oh my god, that's such a good idea. Tiana and Greg, can y'all only pack your matching outfits, please? There Matt goes again with that damn head nod. Adra, this is your cabin. Beth definitely said PSR, which means she definitely watches Naked and Afraid, and it just solidifies why I like her. I knew it. Something was there. Ooh, I need Botox, huh? Oh, God. The Iris is a black woman, and she knows that's where they go for Black Beach Weekend, and the nasty. Nasty. Can I bring in a little bit of Can you imagine if Peter Iris pulled up right now? I feel 
like there had to be camera crew out there that they had to tell, like, get inside. How would you not? Hmm. I think I like, look at this. Hmm. Ew. I think I'm a blended mix of Deanna and Beth. I said that's a black bear from Jump. Beth knew that right away. Deanna went to the cell phone immediately to look up how to protect yourself against black bears, which I wouldn't have to do because I've already done it. Triggering Jamie. I need him to stop. But the fact that Beth laid down and said you play dead and act to do this, and Jamie said no, you get big, so matter of factly, and it took someone looking it up to prove that Beth was right. Beth, get out. <laughs> get out. See, now I ain't no pussy, but here's what we not gonna do. Y'all see in the background? Those are people outside. Y'all, we just saw a motherfucking bear at dusk. Thou shall not go outside. Did somebody tell Iris and Keith that there was a bear? Because they get out the car real slow and casual. Friends, if we go into a cabin and you see a bear, we go into Florida, you see an alligator, let me know. What the fuck, Keith? $15 ain't gonna pay for the funeral costs. And y'all know, before seeing that, I was like, yo, they using the spider B-roll from before and they just using the same spider. But no, they, they didn't kill the spider. They left it there for them. I thought she said the spider was black just like you. I think the editing on this is making it look like Iris is a little stiff. Why are kids have fun? I think Matt was talking about production and everything too. Look at this grass is greener on the other side moment. Amber over here talking about how positive and Jamie is this and that. That's why you don't need to be judging other people's relationships. Worry about your damn self. But you don't seem like you're the best friend. So it's just like that kind of mouse that you try to add. Why can't you just like leave your feet? Overthinking things. Matthew. It's not about all of that Matthew. Matt, did you really change your life so much? Oh my God. He didn't even realize how much marriage really need. Fuck all of that. Shut the fuck up, Matt. You know, I said I was going to be nice to her. I felt that. I but, like, um, yeah. Matt, what did you have to deal with? I love that Deanna is not going on this walk. It's only the two girls who did not see the bear. <laughs> Iris was a girl scout. Oh, my God. Never would have guessed. Where I'm like, oh, I really just care about Matt. And, like, myself will come second. Like, it's it's a twisted thing. It's it's sad. Amber. It exactly. That. Yeah. Amber, yeah, no. those are yeah, not yeah, pockets for your hands. Me. By someone that you're trying <laughs> to love. By someone that you want to love you. Girl. Like, that, the reason why I'm a virgin talk is definitely some I'm under 30 conversations. Get past that 30. People don't really hold sex over. Like, look at me. Look at this. I had sex with her. Oh, okay. Girl. And then he kind of fell off from that again. So it's like, okay. dang, man. He's not coming home on his curfew again. And it's happening multiple days. Curfews are set for children. Children receive punishments when they do not abide by the rules. What is Matthew's punishment for not abiding by his curfew? What is it? Look at how awkward my man Alan is talking to people and women. <laughs> Look at Alan leaning. Alan, nice to meet you. Great, great. Yeah. Well, yeah. What you need, these are your tools of the trade. Okay. One for each of you. Okay. Oh, Alan. They call this witch's butter. Very famous um, mushroom. Alan's PSR score is so high. Slow it. Now you want to? Hmm. I didn't die. Mm -hmm. You can wait five minutes or something. <laughs> Insects are like land shrimp. No, shrimp. Shrimp are the roaches of the sea. Twist that. I don't eat roaches. Yo, me and my homegirl, Deanna, went to the most disgusting food, whatever museum, whatever this museum was in LA. Y'all, there was like a ton of super, super nasty shit that are like delicacies all over the world. There had to be like, like probably 25 things you could try. Nothing. Like I tried. Nothing. Let me guess who this is. Yes. Well, I can't even say it. You already knew me. Glowing stones and salt baths. I like that Jamie looked over and saw her rubbing her hand, so he did it too. <laughs> Why are 
got two martini glasses. Or wine glasses upside down. Because right now we're still what does that do? Still... Juju friends, what does that do? Jamie, people walk on that. I wouldn't accept it any other way. He's such a freak sometimes. What? Listen to this. Iris is talking about like the hard times that they've had in these eight weeks. The fact that he doesn't open up as much as she wants. And we have seen none of that. Because this entire season, they've only focused on Iris's virginity. Everything they've talked about has been like sexual. He's on he's summer vacation all the time. He's used to traveling like 10 months a year for his job. Yep. He's used to not being like committed to one person. Yep. And Lifetime, y'all petty as fuck. Greg said, you know, sometimes you gotta be selfish with your answer. And they immediately put it on Matt. <laughs> so I can't focus on Dion's answer. True or right? In a way, you have to be kind of selfish and think about it. This is something I want to do. <laughs> I'm not really sure. How Damn, Key. What do you think Iris would decide right now? <laughs> She's gonna decide yes. I really don't know. I, I would like to say I know that she wants to stay married. Yes. I know that. I think that's something that this next week and. Leading up to the decision that I'm gonna have to sit and think about. Matt, maybe you should take some time in the, the many hours that you're apart from Amber and actually think about it. Yeah, we were this. Look at that. We were that close to making it one episode without Amber saying my husband's hot. Iris, where did you get these pajamas from? Look at that. Yeah, pretty good. Look at these BJs. Back to look at this. Why keep got kid? You talk. You saw my earrings. I got worried again, y'all. They showed Amber just fixing her side of the bed. <laughs> This episode was pretty good. I'm glad that they got together and talked things through and they were really open. It doesn't leave me any closer to knowing who's gonna do what besides Deanna. And Deanna and Greg are gonna stay together. Jamie and Beth, I need one more argument. Just give me one more argument next week so I'm not too sure. Amber's gonna stay with Matt. They're gonna want him to pick first, but hopefully they allow her to choose first. She gonna stay with him. Just She needs more time, so she's gonna stick it out and Matt's not gonna stay no on air, especially if he can go out and party with his friends at all times of night. Why would he give that up? Who's up? Keith and Iris? Iris is going to want to stay together. Oh, the realest shit that Keith said. Oh, and I had to change my outfit because I'm going to be in the highlight. 